guys, Angie here with Angie Makes, and today I was going to go over how to use a blog kit. Now, I've made a couple of these that go with several themes that we've released, and these just include graphic images that you can upload to your site just to add some extra touches. Um, we've got some borders, some sidebar images, some social media icons, some patterns that come with these kits, and they're pretty straightforward to use. A basic understanding of how to upload images and add them to your sidebar is needed, so I was just going to provide a little tutorial on that today. So here I am and I'm in the back end of the Mary Kate theme and this is the free theme version. Our extended premium version theme has a lot of more advanced options and settings that you can use, just some more flexibility, but we're just working with the free theme today. So what I'm trying to do is, and I'm going to open this in a new tab so that we can see the front end of our site, but you can see here under the blog that I want to add some things to my sidebar. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over under media, click add new, and I have just downloaded the Mary Kate theme you can see, or the Mary Kate blog kit. You can see it comes with patterns, some post layouts, sidebar images, the social icons, and something that's important to note, um, just right out of the box, when you download this, there are some things that need editing. So, for example, this doesn't have your picture in it. You're going to need to add your own picture, and this is a Photoshop document, and you can see it has the file extension PSD. That means it can only be opened and edited in Photoshop. Now, using Photoshop is pretty easy. You can always download um, a free 30-day trial to edit these. I'm happy if you email me your, your image to even insert it for you. But again, you are going to need Photoshop to edit some of these images. Um, but right now, we're just going to upload the sidebar images, which are all actual saved images. And it's going to take a while for a few of these to upload. but I've already uploaded this one and this is called about. Now as the rest of them are uploading I'm just gonna hit edit because what I'm gonna do and what I really need is this. I need this file URL so I'm gonna copy that over and then I'm gonna come under appearance widgets and that is where all of the good stuff for your sidebar lives. And so what I'm gonna look for here as far as the widget that I need to add is this one. This is a basic text widget, okay? We are going to use a little bit of code, but don't be intimidated. This is very, very basic code. We're just going to learn how to insert an image. I'm going to put image source equals quotation mark. Now I'm going to paste that file location that I just uploaded and that I just grabbed. And now I closed it with this closing bracket here. Now I'm going to hit save. And I'm coming over to the front end. I'm going to refresh the page. And there it is. We've got our about image title in there in our sidebar. Okay, now if this is totally intimidating to you guys, don't worry. I am going to copy and paste this um, just below this tutorial so that you can have this code handy. And all you're going to need to do is in between these quotation marks, paste over the file that you upload, the image location that you upload, that URL that we grabbed under our media tab, okay? So now I'm going to do something in HTML. This is how we're going to insert a space, okay? Because we're not going to want it, and I'll, I'll show you here in a second what happens when I take this out, but I am going to just hit save really fast, and I'm going to come back under our media tab. We're going to grab yet another URL for an image, okay? And I've already uploaded a bunch of images here, but what I'm looking for is what I want to use as my About Me image, okay? And I want to use this one. So I've clicked it. Again, I'm going to select this URL. I am copying it by hitting Apple C or Control C. Then I'm going to come back under Appearance Widgets, where we're building out our widget here. I'm going to do the same code, image, source equals and I'm pasting that image okay and again I inserted these little spacing break tags now I'm gonna hit refresh Apple R refreshing the page okay cool so you can see we're already making some progress here now I've got this space under that about um, image that we uploaded and if I take out these break tags that's what's gonna look like we don't really like that so we need to insert those so we can have a little bit of breathing room. Okay, so that's really quickly how you're going to add things to your sidebar. Of course, you could add them times infinity. Um, I could add more by copying these break tags. 
If I wanted to just keep going and building out my sidebar this way, I certainly could. Of course, you're going to want to paste over your different images, the URLs for those that as you upload them. Okay, so very straightforward there. You could add your social icons the same way. <clears throat> but what I'm going to go over now is I'm going to go over to a post. And I'm just going to show you how, if you wanted to, you could easily insert one of the border images. Okay, so here I am. I'm in a post. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hit Add Media, Upload Files. Okay, so let's see here. There's a repeating double border, and it's a ping image, so I can just upload it right out of the box, and I could insert it into my post, and there you go. It's there, so I'm going to hit update, then I'm going to hit view post. Okay, so we've got this nice border image in my post, so that would be a nice way to add a little bit of something to a post. Um, something else that we have built in here under appearance, customize, and again, this is the free theme in the premium theme. There's tons of options for you, but there's a spot here to upload a background image. So I'm going to hit add media here. And again, I'm just giving you a flyover version of how you're going to add these images. This is certainly not the limit as far as what you can do. I have uploaded here four of the patterns that come with the, the kit right out of the box. You can upload them. No need to edit because they're saved as images. All right, you can see I've added that here under background image and it's added to my header. Let's try a different a different one. What about these dots that come with the theme blog kit? Okay, that's too big. So I'm gonna hit add media. Over here, I'm gonna hit a lot smaller size. So I'm gonna use the thumbnail image size. And there you go, that's looking kind of cool. Um, but again, you can play with this certainly there's a lot um, more layouts in the premium version. So again, a lot more options rather in the premium version. So just play with the, the images that come with it. Play with Photoshop, open it up, edit it, add your text, add your own images, um, and save them and upload them. Um, I hope that that's helpful and that you can have fun using the block kits that come with our themes.